When you're tracking conversions in Google Ads, sometimes things can go wrong and you need to validate whether or not your conversion tracking is working as expected. So what you often tend to do is try and go to Google, type in a keyword to trigger your ads, click your advert and run through the conversion process like a customer would to see whether or not your conversions end up tracking in the account. But you shouldn't be doing this. What you should be doing is using the Google Tag Assistant in order to validate your conversions. And there are two reasons for this. Number one, it's very hard sometimes to trigger your ads because of course if you're using smart bidding or you've got a low budget then it's hard to get your ads to show because you might not be exhibiting the behaviors Google is expecting for customers who go to your site and convert meaning the bids will be set lower than if you were a potential real prospect so that's an issue in itself but secondly you also don't want to waste your budget unnecessarily especially if your clicks are quite expensive like 30 40 50 dollars a click why would you do that just to validate a conversion when you don't have to pay that amount to do so and in addition in addition to that, if you're tracking a conversion in your account that's not from a real customer, that is if you do it to test it, then Google is going to use that data to try and optimize your campaign. And if you're running a low, low, a low volume campaign, that can be an issue in itself because you'll be training Google with the wrong type of user data. So what I'm going to show you now is how to actually validate conversions on Google Ads to make sure that they're working because otherwise what will tend to happen is you end up wasting that click budget, not being able to trigger your ads, or training Google with impro improper data. So let's jump in, let's take a look, and I'll show you guys exactly how to do this. Okay, so this is my website, darrentheplumber.co.uk. So it's a plumbing website I've created for the purposes of this demonstration. So we have a contact form on this site, and going back to what I mentioned, imagine we're running a campaign sending traffic to this website, and we don't know for sure whether or not this conversion is tracking. We don't want to click the ads, so we don't want to do anything out the ordinary to find out whether the conversion is tracking or not. What we want to do is use the Google Tag Assistant. So let me just first complete this form just so you can see how the website works. I'm gonna enter the details now, and there we go. I've submitted the form, and here's the thank you page. Thank you for your inquiry, and that's it. So this is the thank you page. I don't know if this is tracking or not in my campaign. Let's validate this conversion. I'll head back to the homepage first. So I'm gonna jump across to Google, and I'm gonna type in Tag Assistant. And at the top, you'll see Google Tag Assistant. So click on this result right here. So this takes you to the Google Tag Assistant. And what you want to do here is add the domain you want to test and debug. So I'm going to click the Add Domain button, jump back over to this tab. I'm going to copy the domain here, and I'm going to paste it in. I'm going to, I'm going to click on Connect. So that's now connecting. And what happens is, as you saw here, this new window opens with a browser from the Google Tag Assistant. Remember, this little icon here tells you this, this, this is basically from the Tag Assistant. So it reopens the window of the website you've connected and it gives you this message down here saying the Tag Assistant is connected, which means you can start using the website as a normal user to see what happens. Now, if I minimize this very quickly, you will see it's connected. If I hit continue back on the Tag Assistant page, it will open up a debug manager. Now, of course, if you don't have access to the Google Tag Manager container for a particular property, you don't get to see what the Google Tag Manager is doing, but that's okay because we're validating a Google Analytics conversion. So if I jump across here, I'm in Google Analytics, I can see what's happening on the page. My page view is hit here, so we are good to go. Next up, here's what we do. We go back to the browser, so we're back here in the browser. I'm gonna complete the conversion action again. And what I want to do is show you what happens on the other side of this in the Tag Assistant tool when I take these actions. So I'm gonna complete the form again. And there we go. And if I hit submit, the form has completed. I've gone over to the thank you page. All good conversion action completed. Now, how do we validate this conversion is working? Well, we minimize this. We jump back to the Tag Assistant. And here we are in the Tag Assistant. On the left-hand side, you will see a feed here with the pages and all of the actions in the page. So here we go. Start off with the beginning. So each of these drop-downs here is a page loading. So you'll see there's two pages loaded, the original home page and then the thank you page. When you click the drop down under the original homepage I visited, you'll see all of the actions that took place on the page. A lot of this can be quite technical, so don't worry too much about this. Basically, all you want to pay attention to are the tags that have fired on this page. As a result of the Google tag, you can see on this page, the page view and user engagement page hit for Google Analytics has been triggered. So the page view and user engagement tags have been sent, which means I know for sure that my page views are tracking in Google Analytics. 
Now we move on to the next part. We go up here to the thank you page. And what do we expect to see on the thank you page? Of course, you expect to see your conversion. So you will see here the Google Analytics event form submit conversion has been triggered. Google Analytics hit. Now that means this event definitely fired in Google Analytics. You can see the thank you page loaded and this sent a hit to Google Analytics. And that means this form submit conversion event has indeed been sent to Google Analytics. So provided that this event is indeed marked as a conversion in your Google Analytics account, it means that your tracking is working fine. There are no issues with your tracking. If you didn't see this tag on this page, on this thank you page, then that is the reason why. Sometimes it will disconnect, as you can see here, every now and again, you can always reopen the tab. But for the purposes of this exercise, I've shown you exactly what you need to look for to test your conversions and test the actions. If you're not seeing the tag firing on the thank you page, then it means that it's not working correctly. Always use this tool, the Tag Assistant, to validate conversions and do not use the Google Ads search results because it can be a bit of a problem. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like below. Let me know in the comments how you previously validated conversions. Tell me honestly, did you used to click your ads to find out whether it worked? Let me know. Let me know in the comments. I'd be more than happy to discuss that down there with you. Like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to check out the rest of the content on the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one.